Are you looking for the best gaming PC builds in 2023? Well, you have a lot of hardware options to pick from, and depending on your budget, a decent PC build could be around $500 or even upwards of $5,000. Of course, the performance also fluctuates along with the price. However, worry not, as we'll be going over a lot of options in this guide. We'll be covering PC builds for Intel processors. All of these builds vary in price, so you can find the one that is right for you. Every recommendation is based on relatively recent hardware, so you're in safe hands. Of course, if your goal is to hit high frame rates at 1440p or 1080p, then expect to spend around $1,000. Still, you could go a bit lower and cut corners on specific components to save some money. For some demanding situations, expect to spend more. Either way, this video should give you a decent idea of what to expect when putting together a gaming PC build in 2023. Let's get started. Price information and all PC parts mentioned in the video are available in the description. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. For the best budget PC build, we picked the Intel Core i5-12400F. Expect decent performance with a high refresh rate experience at 1440p and superb value for money if you're sticking with 1080p gaming. Let's have a look at the specs. CPU Intel Core i5-12400F. CPU cooler not available. Stock. Motherboard Gigabyte B660M DS3H. RAM Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB DDR4-3200. Storage, Silicon Power A60 1TB SSD. Video card, AS Rock Challenger DOC Radeon RX 6600 XT. PC case, Zalman S2 ATX. Power supply, Seasonic S12 3 650W. To stay on the budget side of things, we're sticking with the Intel Core i5 12400F. Alternatively, you could go with the newer 13th Gen Core i5 13400F. However, that CPU is a bit hard to find right now with certain retailers. If you can find the 13400F for a decent price, it's a good option too. So this CPU comes with 6 cores, 12 threads, and a max turbo frequency of 4.4 GHz. It performs quite well in games and even beats the Ryzen 5 5600X in most titles. If you care about performance in production-based workloads, the 12400F handles that quite decently for a budget chip. Usually, we'd go with an aftermarket cooler for nearly every build. However, the 12400F already comes with a stock cooler out of the box. Granted, it's not the best performing cooler in the world, but it does not need to be. The 12400F is not an unlocked chip, and it has a lower power consumption. So while an aftermarket cooler would certainly look better, the stock cooler's fine. As for the motherboard, we decided to go with the Gigabyte B660 DS3H. Some might wonder about the differences between B660 and Z690, but B660 was an easy choice for a budget build. Of course, this motherboard does not support DDR5, and that would hike up the price of this build significantly anyway. The board comes with two M2 slots, supports the fastest DDR4 memory modules on the market, and even features decent memory overclocking. Apart from that, it won't blow you away from its design, but it gets the job done. For the price, you can't complain much. As for RAM, we decided to go with 16GB of DDR4 3200MHz. The specific kit is the Corsair Vengeance LPX memory. The kit overclocks well, 3200MHz is more than enough for gaming, and it's a decent overall value. Unfortunately, the only thing lacking here is RGB. For storage, we decided to go with a PCIe Gen 3 drive. NVMe SSDs have dropped significantly in price, and considering they perform much better than traditional SATA drives, this was a no-brainer. The specific drive we went with is the Silicon Power A60 1TB drive. It is fast, reliable, and affordable. A perfect choice for this build. Next, let's go to the star of the show, the graphics card. We decided to go with the AMD Raytheon RX 6600 XT. Right now, AMD is easily the better choice for budget and mid-range builds, unless you really want ray tracing. However, considering ray tracing performance is not that great on mid-range cards, the RX 6600 XT ultimately wins over the RTX 3060. This card is a beast for 1080p gaming and still performs decent enough at 1440p. The latter is especially true if you care about high refresh rate experience with your favorite esports titles such as Overwatch, Valorant, or Warzone. For the PC chassis, we decided to go with the Zalman S2 ATX mid-tower case. It's a decent looking case with great airflow, decent cable management, and room for a lot of drives. This is a great option for budget builds and does the job quite well. We don't see a need for a better case for this build. Finally, for the power supply, we recommend the Seasonic S12 3 650W 80 plus bronze unit. It comes from the most reliable PSU brand out there, has good power efficiency, and is also quite affordable. An easy choice for this build. To sum it up, you can expect excellent performance in games at both 1080p and 1440p. 
Whether you care about single-player games, competitive shooters, or even casual indie games, this gaming PC is a good entry point in 2023. It also provides you with a good upgrade path to the newer 13th gen processors down the line. The estimated price for this build is $750 to $800. For a mid-range PC build, we suggest the Intel Core i5-13600K, which is an excellent processor. Right now, this build is arguably the best bang for your buck in terms of performance. Let's see the PC parts we suggest for this build. CPU, Intel Core i5-13600K. CPU Cooler, Deepcool AK400 CPU Cooler. Motherboard, MSI Meg B660 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. RAM, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16GB DDR3600. Storage, Team Group MP333 1TB SSD. Video Card, AS Rock Radeon RX 6700 XT. PC Case, Fantax Eclipse P3000A Mesh Case. Power Supply, Corsair RM750X 2021 Power Supply. The main highlight of this build is the newly released Intel Core i5-13600K. This is a beast of a processor, as it has 14 cores, 20 threads, and a boost clock of up to 5.1 GHz. In terms of performance, it's on par with last generation's Core i9-12900K and easily beats or matches the newer Ryzen 7 7600X in games. A stellar value all around. When it comes to mid-range processors, this is the value king right now. You would be hard-pressed to find something that performs better at this price. It's also quite good in terms of productivity performance, thanks to the 14 cores. Now the Intel Core i5-13600K, unfortunately, does not come with a stock cooler. To keep this chip cool, we've paired it with the Deepcool AK400 CPU cooler. This is a high-quality air cooler that offers excellent cooling performance and is easy to install. The cooler comes with a 120mm fan that runs quietly and is also quite affordable. For the motherboard, we've gone with the MSI Meg B660 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. This is a solid motherboard that offers a great feature set for the price. It supports DDR4 memory up to 64GB and has two M.2 slots for NVMe SSDs, making it one of the best budget motherboards out there. The board also features Wi-Fi 6, which is a must-have these days. Now for storage, we've gone with the Team Group MP333 1TB SSD. This is a high-performance NVMe SSD that offers fast read and write speeds, making it a great option for both gaming and productivity. The SSD also has a large capacity, which makes it a great option for those who want to store all their games on one drive. Memory-wise, we recommend the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16GB DDR4-3600. This is a high-performance memory kit that offers fast speeds and tight timing. It overclocks well and also features RGB lighting that will add some flair to your rig. As for the graphics card, we've gone with the AS Rock Radeon RX 6700 XT. This is a powerful video card that is based on RDNA 2 architecture and features 12GB of GDDR6 memory. The card is capable of delivering great performance at 1440p, making it a great option for those who want to play the latest games at high settings. Right now, it's cheaper than the RTX 3060 Ti, and unless you care much about ray tracing, it is obviously the better option. AMD's FSR technology is also improving, so expect decent performance for upcoming titles as well. For the PC case, we've gone with the Fantax Eclipse P3000 A mesh case. This is a stylish case that features a mesh front panel that allows for great airflow, making it a great option for our power-hungry components. Finally, for the power supply, we've gone with the Corsair RM750 X 2021 power supply. This is a high-quality power supply that offers 80-plus gold certification. It is fully modular, silent, and rated A on the LTTPSU tier list. In summary, this Intel build is a high-performance option that packs a punch. It features a powerful Intel Core i5-13600K processor, a high-quality air cooler, a solid motherboard, fast memory, a high-performance NVMe SSD, a powerful video card, a stylish case, and a high-quality power supply. Expect excellent performance at 1440p for years to come. The estimated price for this build is $1,300. The next build is a bit more over the top, which makes sense for a high-end build. We're using the Core i7-13700K, an RTX 4080, and other premium components. Needless to say, expect some incredible performance at 4K out of this one. Let's have a look at the PC parts we used. CPU, Intel Core i7-13700K. CPU Cooler. And ZXT Kraken X63 CPU cooler. Motherboard Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX. RAM G Skill Trident Z5 RGB 32 Gigabyte. Storage Crucial P5 Plus 1 Terabyte SSD. Video card Asus Tough Gaming RTX 4080. Case Lian Li Lan Cool 2016 ATX case. Power supply Seasonic Focus Plus 850. 
This premium Intel build features the powerful Intel Core i7-13700K processor, a high-end 16-core, 24-thread chip that has a max turbo frequency of 5.4 GHz. This chip is unlocked and ready for overclocking, making it a great option for those looking for maximum performance. You could also go with a Core i9-13900K if you're feeling rich, but the 13700K is the more practical choice. It performs admirably in games, 16 cores are enough for productivity workloads, and it overclocks quite well. There's no need to upgrade further. To keep this chip cool, we've paired it with the NZXT Kraken X63 CPU cooler. This is a top-of-the-line liquid cooler that offers excellent cooling performance and is easy to install. The cooler comes with a 280mm radiator and two 140mm fans that run quietly. On top of that, the RGB implementation is quite good. For the motherboard, we've gone with the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX. This high-end motherboard builds upon the Z690 version. It supports DDR5 memory up to 128GB and has multiple M2 slots for NVMe SSDs and great memory overclocking. The board also features Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 4, and Aorus RGB Fusion 2.0 for advanced functionality and style. In terms of memory, you should stick with DDR5 for this high-end build. It makes sense considering you'll get better performance and a good bit of future-proofing. The Trident Z5 kit we picked performs well, and 32 gigs are more than enough for gaming and productivity. Storage-wise, we've gone with the Crucial P5 Plus 1TB SSD. This is a high-performance NVMe SSD that offers fast read and write speeds. It's a PCIe Gen 4 drive and is quite competitively priced. It makes sense to go with PCIe Gen 4 for this high-end build for maximum performance. As for the graphics card, we decided to go with the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 4080. Now, this is by no means a practical choice, especially considering the pricing situation. However, if you're willing to spend the cash, you'll get excellent performance in games for the next 5-7 to seven years. Here's what you're getting with this card. 16GB of GDDR6X memory. 9,728 CUDA cores, superb ray tracing performance, and DLSS 3.0. 4K gaming at high settings is a breeze for this GPU. It's a hefty investment, but worth it if you want to play games at 4K Ultra for the next couple of years. For the PC case, we've gone with the Lian Li Lancool 2016 ATX case. It features a mesh front panel, two RGB fans at the front, one basic fan at the back, a compact design, and a stealthy appearance. This premium chassis works wonderfully well for our premium build. Finally, for the power supply, we've gone with the Seasonic Focus Plus 850. This is a high-quality power with an 80-plus gold certification, a modular design, and superb reliability. Nothing more to say here. A Seasonic should be your go-to choice for premium power supplies. In conclusion, this Intel build is an excellent choice for high-end gaming in 2023. Of course, you could put together something similar for cheaper if you go with a different graphics card. However, for high-end builds, we would not skimp out on DDR5 or PCIe Gen 5 drives. The difference will make you feel like it's a high-end upgrade. It's an excellent build through and through. We will soon cover the best AMD gaming PC builds, and we also urge you to take a look at our high-end AMD build, as both of these gaming PCs perform about the same and cost about the same. It just depends on what kind of hardware you are exactly looking out for. The estimated price for this build is $3,000. So what do you think? Tell us what you would change and your suggestions for the gaming PC build. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.